Hey guys, you guys have talked to me and we've been talking about heat treating and everything. And a lot of people have been using stainless steel foil to wrap their stainless work, their, um, their uh, uh, D2, things like that for heat treating because of the uh, oxidation. Now, I found a new product. I'm gonna show you how it works. Now here it is. It is made by Advanced Technical Products. Um, it is called APT641. It's a water-based high temp anti-scale. Now, I've used this stuff for a while now, and it's friggin' awesome. It's real easy to do. You take your blade, brake cleaner, alcohol, whatever works. Um, degrease it completely. That is very, very important. Degrease all of it off of it, okay? Then, yeah, we get to play with fire. Hit the fire and go with it. You don't want to get it smoking hot, okay? You just want to get it a little warm, Make sure that you burn off any oils or whatnot that are on it. You know, doesn't take a whole lot to warm it up. Also, this helps with the drying. Because what's really awesome about this stuff is you paint it on with a with a paint gun. And it's quite easy to do. After you chase it around a little bit. Now, this is my harbor spray. Harbor Freight Special tank gun. So as y'all know, it's gonna have an amazing spray pattern. It's gonna give you everything you want, including the kitchen sink. Now, this blade itself is D2. So, everybody knows you wrap D2. If not, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna be hell. Now, what I love about this stuff is, do a couple coats of it and let it dry now I went a little overboard on that as you can see I've got a few runs in it but guess what it really doesn't matter because what's really cool about it is if you take your torch or heat gun you can use a heat gun also to do it take it and very easily don't touch the flame to it just let the heat get to it It'll evaporate the water out of it. And you can go to town. See how it's evaporated the water out of it? Now if you get it too hot or get it too close, it'll start popping off. We don't want it to pop off. We just want it to harden. And that's all there is to it. Now, I'm gonna to try to heat treat these tonight and show you what they look like when they come out. They look great when they come out. I have not had any scaling problems. I've run this stuff up to uh, 2100 degrees on some S110V. Um, it comes out great every time. The amazing part of it is a gallon of this stuff is $55. Now, I know you as well as me have spent a lot of money on stainless steel foil. Y'all know you don't get that many knives out of it. Now, if you look down here, this much in this bucket, I've done probably 300, 325 knives out of it, and I'm not even a long ways done with it. Also, you can thin it a little bit to make it spray in your gun a little easier or to evaporate easier. It's, it's that easy. I mean, seriously, y'all, this blew me away, this product did. It doesn't fluff off. The great part about it is when you quench, if you go into oil, you go into water, whatever you're gonna use, this stuff just blows off real easily. What's another great thing is when you go to do your plate quenches like this D2, it crumbles off on the plate. And if there's anything left over, you take it to the sink, hot water, and it comes off. It's a great product that I've been very, very happy to get and kind of out of the way, you know, just happened upon it. But guys, this stuff is awesome. I've been talking to a few of you about it. Keep up with the post, we'll be doing some other stuff and um, I'll let you guys see what this looks like when it's done. All right, everybody. We just took this blade out of the heat treat. It's a Damascus blade, just carbon Damascus. I mean, you can still see it smoking off of it. Um, we covered it in that uh, uh, ATP uh, 641. And as you can see, it is clean as it can be. On the back side, I, did a, I just quenched it up to that point so you can see how it oxidized a bit. But you can see the Damascus pattern in it, but 
it comes out just super clean no scale no issues no nothing i mean just as good as it can be and i quench that in parks 50 and it just sloughs off as it goes like i said stuff is super easy to use it's it's a no-brainer guys i mean give them a call give them a test this stuff is awesome i've been using it for probably about a year and a half now and i love it uh, makes heat treating so much easier so much cleaner and a hell of a lot cheaper thanks guys we'll talk to y'all later all right guys i showed you all the oil quench with it um here's some air quench stuff that we did uh it's d2 and as you can see that material just sloughs off i mean that's it no oxidation everything's nice and pretty like i said stupid easy to work with and that d2 has no there's no oxidation anywhere on it that's just that material and you can see the thickness that we put on it i think five mils or so not much but that's what happens to it so um if you guys have questions you guys have any insight any other ways to use it or any ideas let me know um this is a really great stuff it's a really great product and using it to heat treat will save you money in the long run so uh let me know what you guys think talk to y'all later